Hi, Quentin. Thanks for making it. Um, do you have a, a, a camera? Yeah. Too? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. There we go. Godzilla is 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 behind you, obviously. I thought we were talking about a company by the name Goliath, but you you seem to be keen of, of those big monsters. <laughs> we are talking about Goliath, yes. Yes, yes. Just no decoration. Um, you know, obviously, um, you were on the board of uh, quite a few uh, explorers, and you're consultant uh, to. Uh, to a big fund that that does a lot of investments. Um, I really like to jump in and ask you, um, I, and 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 just beg my pardon. I, I think I, I can read that in in the news releases in your statements that there is a specific buzz and a, spe a specific um, excitement uh, going on here in, in, in with Goliath. Would you agree? Uh, very much so. Yes, it's uh, it's kind of a what we'll call, I mean, I'm, nothing's a no brainer, like nothing's guaranteed. But when you see a vein, that's, it's not really a vein, it's that would, that's not doing it justice. When you see a, a mineralized shear structure like this, that's, you know, over 10 meters thick, and very continuous along strike for a kilometer. And it also because of the relief in this area, you know, the terrain is very steep. You can yeah. also see that it continues down dip uh, for quite a ways, you know, over 500 meters, you know, it's easy to see, Hey, this, this thing should be a big, big, big deposit potentially. Yeah. yeah you know, the, the thing that stroke me uh, early on was that mother nature actually has done a great job in this, in this uh, regard that it has exposed uh, a three dimensional structure to us uh, that usually takes a lot of work and a lot of money to, to identify that's number right. one. Uh, so that's a huge, natural advantage uh, and then and then uh, this seems to be now up in the second drill hole uh, proving itself to be as you call it a sandwich uh, which you know is even thicker uh, sometimes than than it looks like at the fringes at the at the at the you know where it, where it outcrops correct yes so it's uh it's uh, probably the first project i've ever worked on where the ore body is basically sitting above yeah. the valley floor, you know, like it's, it's truly unique in that regard. Um, you know, you look at this thing, you think, well, okay, let's say, let's say it does prove to be continuous all the way down dip, the dips about 40 degrees. And let's say it's continuous the whole way down, you could actually go in, you know, on the valley floor, you could go in with an added, a, you know, basically a bore an add it into the mountain and then work upwards on yeah. the system. It's the first time I've seen um, a target that's basically, you know, sitting above the base level. Yeah. That okay. makes it very intriguing because, you know, you at, you know, 40 degrees is a reasonable angle. You could mine this thing in bulk as you go upwards. Um, it's remarkable. Uh, now where they see the thing outcrop at surface, there's a bit of a little crevasse there. And it's not the most accessible place. Like it's steep, yes. it's, it's dangerous to work. So the guys were able to take channel samples in certain locations and they could see that there was mineralization or, you know, solidification and sulfides beyond that, but they weren't necessarily able to get clear across the structure at surface. The results they got fantastic. You know, like there's uh, yes. many channel samples across this over strike that are running, you know, well north of 10 meters thickness and over half an ounce gold equivalent uh you know yeah oh. and, and it's and it's clearly uh multiple there's there seem to be multiple uh, elements and multiple metals involved it, it's uh, sphalerite it's some copper even sil silver gold is of course uh, the big thing and and you, you would ultimately probably uh, translate the, the the value into copper equivalent uh, into into a gold equivalent gold. that's correct look there's a it is a precious metal system by value you know of metal containing yeah. the rock gold is number one hands down silver is uh we'll call it a close second there is a fair bit of silver there is base metal as well. You know, there's maybe a few percent uh, combined zinc, lead, and, and copper, but um, it's really a, a precious metal system. That said, my hunch is once 
we do some metallurgy and, and get this thing to a more advanced state understanding, uh, then we'll probably see that the best way to recover the precious metal is to float a base metal concentrate, you know, to, yeah. to produce well, it. I, I guess that's, that's really way down the road. First of all, we need to define or, or confirm the, the structure. Yeah. And, and, and that's what this 5,000 uh, meters of drilling is about. Uh, in different locations, we want to pierce through that, that layer, let's say 10 meter, sometimes even thicker uh, structure, just to be certain of, 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 of the three-dimensional uh, you know, structure of it. And, and then of course, the big thing that, uh, that everybody is waiting for now is how, how, what's the grade that this runs at? Uh, and, and we should be only weeks away from at least getting a first sniff. I think the, the numbers will come fairly quickly. I know the company with these first holes at least is willing to, to pay a bit extra to try to get them rushed through the lab. And to I bribe the lab a little bit as yeah. everybody does. I, th I think that that's, that's a little bit what everybody tries to do these days because they, they, they're just tired of waiting. <laughs> It's, it is the trend these days that said, and there's reality. Okay. And the reality is that you have a lot of activity, especially in, in Northern BC or golden yeah. triangle. Yeah. And they're just, you know, there's many companies generating tens of thousands of samples this year. Yeah. So it, 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 you can try to look early in the season here. You can play the game at trying to rush samples because the labs aren't quite so, so busy, yeah. but by September, October, yeah, they'll be full up. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, they they also should see that uh, Goliath might be uh, becoming a has a good chance of becoming a big client of theirs down the road. So they yeah. they want that to helps. Get that special, helps. Yeah. Special treatment. Anyways, this is uh, this the sandwich I call it that we're dealing with, uh, or even the the ham on the sandwich, whatever you you refer to it, and. But the one thing that we haven't discussed is that you believe, obviously, that this is running into the mountain, even beyond right. what we can see, and mm -hmm. even uh, down to a place where, where the pluton is closer. So uh, right. as a geologist, why don't you uh, give us a little bit more flavor? Certainly. Yeah. The, so just for reference, the, the plane that we've been talking about, the sandwich, this yes. uh, shear zone, I'll call it. Yes. Uh, trends kind of northwest, we'll, we'll say, and it dips to the southwest at about 40 degrees. And because of the topography, the you can follow the vein all the way up to the shear, all the way up to the top of the mountain. Yes. And then you can see it go down the other side. Okay, it's a bit steeper on the north side. So they haven't done a lot of work over there, but you can easily see it. You can see it on Google Earth, for instance. Yeah. So this thing is truly three-dimensional. You can see it wrap up and around the mountain. Yep. Yeah. Where it gets interesting is what happens down dip. Uh, we are going to be testing this thing with some holes down dip. Right now we have some holes planned about 500 meters uh, down, straight down the plane. Wow. But we we might try a hole or two a bit deeper too. I'm, I'm going to see if we can maybe squeak in a hole or two down, uh, say, a thousand meters. Wow. Okay. Uh, this yeah. is exciting because the system looks into an intrusive at depth. We've got enough data now from magnetics and some other uh, data that we have to say there is an intrusive down there that's driving this thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, there's also leakage structures that are coming up. So if you think of this, the main shear as the, the trunk of the, the tree, the main artery, there mm -hmm. are secondary structures that come up off of that. Yeah. And they've found these at surface. Okay, so they know there's uh, leakage from something bigger. Yeah. So we're going to look at where these two things connect down at depth. Some of these leakage structures, where they connect the the sherbet structure. Yeah. Okay. It'll still be above the intrusive. The intrusive's a bit further down, but it could be quite exciting. We we might find you know that this system just gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, maybe. Okay. We'll see. Uh, there's a lot of drilling going on this season. Uh, obviously, if you were to hit uh, the structure down dip that would be a, a, a great uh, positive for, for 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 the future mining because that might allow just to do go in almost horizontally from the valley floor 
exactly. and then and then you 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 can access the whole thing re relatively uh, easily because that's that's one of the questions that usually comes up. Uh, this is mountainous terrain. It's 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 rugged and it's also very seasonal too. Uh, how how on earth would you ever go about mining this? But I think that's what we just kind of uh, touched on. If if this has the right size, uh, you know, uh, the concentration of metal seems to be there, and 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 it's and it's structurally controlled, so that makes mining uh, 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 relatively straightforward down the road. Correct. That said, of course, we're talking some about an event that's probably years out. First of all, we want to see uh, a resource, and uh, I know uh, it's it's too early to spec. Well, it's never too early to speculate about the size of this, but uh, everybody should do their own math in terms of what this is in three dimensions and what the grade runs. Uh, there's different numbers out there. I think um, we should just wait for for the next set of results here. And uh, you know what, Quinton, uh, I'm I'm really happy to to follow up with you on the progress while this is while this is moving ahead. It's it's one of the, I think, most spectacular uh, discoveries uh, that I have ever been involved in because it's even for me as not a, not being a geologist relatively easy to handle uh, because it's so well well defined as the sandwich I call it and. Um, Let's let's just see what what uh, the 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 essays bring, and what the next you know how many drill holes are you planning in five thousand meters? That would be probably twenty thirty holes or something like that. Uh, approximately twenty on that order. Uh, the the bulk of them are along we'll call it fifty meters to hundred meters down dip, right near surface. So there's a whole series of pads that go up the yeah, yeah. up the strike of the the outcrop. Yeah. But then we have a few holes planned, like I said, about 500 meters down dip. So those holes will be drilled from the top of the mountain yeah. and hitting the sure bet zone uh, about 500 meters down dip. But then I do am trying to push for a, a hole or two even further down dip. Yes, I, uh, I could, get, get could, to yeah. <laughs> it could be the, the drill program goes from, say, 5,000 meters to six or 7,000 meters with, you know, with a little luck. Um, one thing I will say, though, just like you see in the last couple of news releases, mm -hmm. Because the mineralization is quite visual, mm -hmm. you, can, you, know, you can see this very distinct mm -hmm. uh, quartz veining with sulfides. Uh, we don't necessarily, it's not one of these systems where you have to wait for the assays before you can make judgments about how to proceed. I get it. Yeah. This is a pretty, pretty visual system, uh, which gives a lot of comfort. We can talk about, you know, as we drill holes, we can talk about what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. We can talk about, you know, whether the continuity is there. We can start talking about all these aspects that uh, don't necessarily require assays just yet. Now, the assays are important. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely. But, yeah. but, but you know, the, the first assays will be potentially indicative of what's below, uh, let's say. Of course, never 100%, but at least a little bit of an indication. Is it lower grade? Is it higher grade? Does it match... Uh, the, the 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 values that uh, you measured uh, at the outcrops. If that was the case, I think that was an average of 10, 10 grams equivalent uh, gold, something like that. Uh, you know that would just be uh, uh, phenomenal in terms of, of of the size potential of this. Anyways, enough uh, of of uh, uh, you know just wild speculation. The, the 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 this this is just one area in a in an even larger project, uh, the gold digger project. Uh, I think what what's the square kilometers of this? I think something like twenty or you know, it, no, it's it's a, a bit bigger. I I don't have the number right in front of yeah. me. It's on the order. It's a few tens of square yeah. kilometers. I so so uh, you know if if that is something there, uh, you know it's that that doesn't mean that there's not more to, to be found uh, on this whole. Yeah, on the, yeah look uh, exactly. Be really situated uh, exactly at the right spot where this big uh, fault system cr crosses. That is okay, big shares like this. They tend, I mean, this is a big structure, right? You know, geologically, this is a very yeah. large fault. I would be surprised if this is all there is. I think that, uh, yeah. especially given we can see the intrusive now, I think there's going to be other areas on the property that have similar mineralization, for sure. 
Okay, with that, Quinton, let's keep it just uh, nice and short. I look forward to having an update call with you sometime soon, maybe based on okay. some, some essay results then. Uh, and I, I'd li thank, like to thank you for taking your time today. Thanks. Thank you, Bye. sir. Ciao. Take care. Bye-bye.